So um, in this example, again, again, ladies and gentlemen, the least, at least the best part we got with the other one was some practice and again, identifying the LCD. And that's your first part. You need to identify the LCD. So you find the LCD in this case is just going to be your product, 2x plus 7 times x minus 1. You just take your product of your denominators when you have your expressions in your denominator. Is everybody OK with what I did? Now again, we're not adding or subtracting. So we don't need to get common denominators. We're trying to solve. So we want to eliminate the fractions. So I multiply by 2x plus 7 times x minus 1. Over here, I multiply by 2x plus 7 times x minus 1. Now again, what's important here is you guys can see now that we go ahead and divide, um, we can divide out our common terms. That goes to 1. Over here, those divide to 1. So now, excuse me, now I'm left with the equation x times x minus 1 is equal to x minus 5 times 2x plus 7. Does everybody see how I got that? OK. Now what we do is apply distributive property. Over here, x times x is x squared. x times negative 1 is negative x. On the right-hand side, well, we can apply distributive property, but we could also use the box method, or we could also use FOIL. So by using FOIL, I get x times 2x, which is 2x squared, um, minus 10x, plus 7x, minus 35. OK? And then, if you guys notice, when we're solving for x, we've got to get x all the we got to combine all the x's, right? We've got to get them to the same side. So I'll subtract an x squared on both sides, and I'll add an x. <coughs> So therefore, I have 0 equals. <coughs> OK. We'll do some combining first so I don't overly confuse you. Let's combine our like terms here. I get 2x squared minus 3x minus 35. Do you follow me? Now, the first thing I want to do is, again, I got to get these x, I got to get the x squareds on the same side and the x's to the same side. So let's get rid of the x squared first. So I'll subtract an x squared on both sides. Okay. So now I'm left with a negative x equals x squared minus 3x minus 35. You follow me? Yeah. Now the next step. Let's get rid of the negative x. So I'll add an x. So now I have 0 equals x squared minus 2x minus 35. Yep, but that's a negative 3x, though. Yes, Brianna? Think of it like, think of it um, like two apples, minus, two apples minus one apple is going to just be one apple, right? What you're doing is you're subtracting, Brianna. You're, there's a 1 in front of there. Okay, so you are subtracting the two and the one, but the x squared is remaining the same. Okay, um, so now we are trying to factor this quadratic. So to factor the quadratic, uh, well, to solve, we got to use factoring. So again, we say, all right, what two numbers multiply to give you negative thirty-five and add to give you negative two. So that becomes x minus seven times x plus two. I'm sorry, plus five. Now, now, we can solve this by applying the zero product property. Um, so we could say x minus 7 equals 0, or x plus 5 equals 0. So therefore, x equals 7, and x equals negative 5. Now, when we're solving equations, though, we want to also make sure we go back to our problem. In here, what are the two constraints that x cannot equal? No, x cannot equal a negative 7 halves, and x cannot equal positive 1. If you were to take 2x plus 7 and set it equal to 0 and solve for x, you get negative 7 halves. Are either one of these those numbers? No. So these are going to be your two solutions. However, if that number is up there, then that would be a case of no solution. 